Okay, welcome to the webinar. This is Bruce at Veloxpro, and we'll go through the order flow here within Bookmap. And uh, we're looking at uh, Bookmap 6.1 and 6.0. Uh, I have 6.1 uh, loaded here, and this is the latest demo. It is the Bookmap for Equities. And uh, you can go to bookmap.com here uh, and find out more about it. Uh, actually, let me go through the risk disclaimer first. Um, Trading equities in futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com, become a member, and you have access to the free resources, and then reach out to us at Veloxpro, support at veloxpro.com. Um, so the new bookmap for equities uh, is up and running. Uh, it's going through the NASDAQ total view or DX feed and then NASDAQ total view. And you can see some of the advantages here uh, and we've covered them for the last uh, week or so. Uh, great stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's an excellent data feed. Uh, you can read about it here. Uh, I can answer any of your questions uh, uh, as we go through the, uh, through the day here. Uh, but um, uh, this is where you can find it. It's under the pricing tab here. Uh, and you can see that there is the basic, the advanced, uh, and then this is these are package deals with the DX feed. Okay, so if you're looking for just futures, uh, uh, you can get the basic or advanced um, here. There, it's, you subscribe monthly to it. It's 49 per month for the basic, 99 per month for the advanced. They are billed quarterly, but you do get a 14-day trial period with them. Now. Uh, that's with uh, futures, but this, both of these will also work with um, bookmap um, equities. Uh, you'll just add the DX feed later, okay? So you'll first subscribe to uh, bookmap, and then you will subscribe to the DX feed. The cost, uh, you'll, you'll get a 14-day trial period for both, right? For, for both uh, uh, bookmap, a book basic or advanced, and as well, you will get a 14-day trial period of DX feed. Okay, so the distinction here is that there's book map and there's DX feed. All right, so you can with both of these versions here, then you have that flexibility. Uh, now, if you're new to book map and you specifically look at equities, uh, well, then uh, you might want to consider the uh, package deal here. Uh, you get a little bit of a discount. Uh, it's you get Bookmap Basic here with DX feed. It's 99 per month billed quarterly, and then the uh, advanced Bookmap Advanced with the DX feed, uh, and that is 149 billed quarterly. All right. So uh, anyway, I know it's, uh, it sounds a little confusing here, uh, but um, I just think about it as separate uh, subscriptions, uh, and then with this package deal, they're just uh, bundled together. Okay. All right. Um, Let's uh, move on here. Uh, let's go into the uh, uh, education tab here. I just want to show you where some of the resources are. Okay, there's these book map uh, video snippets that uh, uh, we can click on these, open it up, and then open it up in our YouTube playlist here. Uh, and you can see the entire list of all of the um, uh, uh, videos that we have uh, for uh, understanding the uh, order flow. They're very short for the most part. Uh, last one was almost five minutes, but it goes in detail, a little more detail here with absorption and exhaustion. Uh, flip of the book, you can see here, they're mostly about two or three minutes uh, and um, good stuff. We go through all of this market phenomena every day here during these webinars. We just go through it in more detail. Okay, So if you want the quick version, watch these, understand it, and then go back to your book map and you'll see it again and again. All right. So uh, the recorded webinars, uh, they are under this education tab right here. Okay, we'll click on that. That'll take you to the YouTube page as well. And you can see all of them here. So if you want to review yesterday's, you can see it here or the day before. Uh, you can see it here. Now, in fact, that brings up a question or something I wanted to show here. Uh, and that was what we were looking at yesterday in Google, all right? Uh, and I have the chart here for Google, okay? So let's look at a five-minute chart, okay? This was the price action we were looking at yesterday, okay? Uh, and what I, I just want to cover this because although, I mean, we did see some things in the chart, uh, and um, uh, we covered it uh, correctly, 
Uh, now, in, in the end of the day here, uh, we can see that uh, price uh, kind of, it you know, just kind of went sideways, basically. I mean, it did end. Let's see, where did it end? Uh, so, yeah, here's here's end of the day here. Okay. Uh, and uh, and we can see just right in the middle, right, right in the middle of all of this, uh, all of this volume here. Right. So, uh, uh, anyway, we, the webinar, we were looking right around this point here. Uh, around this 86 level, and um, and we were looking at the order flow, right? And we did see something. First off, we were anticipating that order flow. Here I've got a screenshot of it. Okay, here's our 11:30. All right, uh, we are anticipating at this point before this this move to the downside. We are anticipating it uh, because uh, we're starting to understand the uh, the transactions. Uh, and the, this this um, auction process here, uh, what uh, uh, the traders were um, uh, or how they were um, how they were behaving in the limit order book and where the transactions were taking place. So we're looking for another push to the downside. It was at this point here, around 11:45, when we saw the cluster of volume up at the um, a higher level here, and we saw them start to retreat on the, the offer here that we were starting to anticipate the move to the upside. We got it, okay? We got it up to this point, right? This little swing right here, okay? And you can see that right in book map. In the end, the order flow, it shifted yet again. We saw one shift here, we saw another shift here, and here's the other shift in this area here, okay? And let's just go through how to read this, all right? Um, we'll, we'll do it again today. I mean, we do this process every day. But this was what we saw, or the webinar ended, and, and um, we saw another shift in the order flow. Okay, Look at the volume that started to take place up in these areas up here. Okay? There's, there's none uh, on these two little uh, peaks here, and there's some up here, some uh, buying. Uh, but that was it. Right? Uh, this, these are areas of exhaustion. Uh, the, the, there's there's no trading activity. The market is exhausting out. Uh, it rotates back to find where it can trade, where transactions previously took place, uh, as well as find liquidity. Okay, so uh, the market did rotate back. Look at the shift here. Okay, uh, we see uh, them hitting the bid bid uh, pretty aggressively uh, in this area. Took it down below these two swings right here. Okay. And we see significant volume trade now uh, uh, below all of this other activity. And we see another retest to where we broke from right here okay, at this uh, 988.40 level and nothing traded. Again, exhaustion and we get the, the uh, rotation and, and follow through to the downside. Okay. So the, the process uh, in reading this order flow and seeing it in book map, uh, we see it again and again, right? So uh, uh, you'll need to uh, to pay attention uh, and uh, put this into the way that you trade. Uh, if you were bearish or bullish for that day, it depends. What was your time frame? What were your targets? Okay, uh, this is um, uh, what is very essential uh, to understanding. Uh, if you're scalping and looking for <laughs> uh, in Google, it'd just be for a couple of dollars. Well, you got it here you would have gotten your target. Uh, if we were trading down in this area, you would have gotten it up in this area here, all right? Uh, if, 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 you, uh, if your orders are up here in line uh, before or, or um, uh, whatever, but uh, uh, you can see that price did go up into that area, all right? Now, at this point here, if you were looking for um, uh, that other, you saw this other shift here, what was your target? Maybe you'd be targeting the lows, targeting the lows down here, and you would have gotten it. Okay. If you're looking at higher time frames, well, then you'll have to zoom out and you'll have to look at uh, uh, something a little different. But the process is still the same. All right. Just want to cover that and um, uh, just review uh, what we were looking at yesterday, uh, and uh, and go through it in a little more detail. Okay. Because we can see it here in the chart. Um, what we were looking for, and you know, really, you know, to be honest, uh, you know, I mean, my personal opinion, uh, we're chopping around uh, until we're going to get some data tomorrow. All right, we have the non-farm tomorrow. Right, so that's uh, that's what I, I I believe is going on. Yet there are opportunities all day long 
uh, and we see it in the order flow in Bookmap. Okay, so that's that. I uh, just wanted to cover that here. Uh, let's see, Francisco, uh, beautiful how your software draws exhaustion. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I agree. Uh, it's uh, it's all there, um, and uh, it, showing exhaustion and, and absorption uh, is Bookmap is uh, really good at uh, uh, being able to display that for you. Uh, let's see, Ness, uh, DTNIQ uh, for equities anytime soon. Uh, not sure. Uh, about that, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know um, uh, what uh, the, the product roadmap is for that. Um, we're, right now, I mean, DTNIQ is not a, uh, a broker, they're just a data feed, okay? So that's the same for uh, DX feed right now, the way that we are connecting. This is our initial offer. Uh, obviously, we, you know, we want to connect with brokers uh, so you can uh, actually trade uh, your funded account. So uh, we're, we're working on all of that, okay? Uh, but this is our initial uh, step here, and um, uh, and it is a good one. Uh, I'm I'm really really happy and excited about this new direction with uh, with equities. Uh, the D, the DX feed and the data that it shows is excellent, uh, and um, uh, very very insightful, very powerful. Uh, um, I I think the uh, uh, the data feed. Anyway, uh, oh, one thing, uh, Ness, about that, um, you might want to check with DX Feed. From what I understand, the technology they are using for equities will be phased out soon. They are not looking at NASDAQ total view. Okay, they are looking at something else. All right, so inquire them uh, with them and uh, you know get a little bit of insight. We are looking at NASDAQ total view and NASDAQ last trade. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, that's why I believe we're not supporting it is because uh, I believe that was the reason uh, is that it's just an older technology. Okay, that will be phased out. Okay, um, let's see. I, it, just looking up uh, some stock twits uh, this morning. Uh, just trying to look at what was uh, moving. Uh, I did notice that uh, there was a lot of activity here in Goldman Sachs. So uh, we can take a look at that. Uh, or we can take a look at maybe Bank of America here as well. Uh, this looks pretty nice. Um, I like that immediately. Uh, look at how they're supporting price underneath here. Okay. So uh, on, in the limit order book, look at the other sides here. Uh, we, don't, we see very uh, few limit orders. Okay, so uh, right right away here, I mean, we do see big selling here, but um, uh, this is looking pretty good for an extension at least maybe up into this 2250 or this high liquidity that is here at um, uh, 48, 2248, okay. Anyway, uh, I got in a little late. Uh, you can see just uh, after 10 o'clock, I, I started uh, collecting data here in Bookmap uh, and um, the reason being is that uh, you know I'm doing a lot of uh, testing uh, and uh, content generation, so uh, I didn't have the uh, a full book here to be able to uh, or full uh, cash session to be able to display to you guys. All right, any questions? Anything you guys want to look at? Um, the uh, let's see. We can take a look at, uh, we can jump back to some of the futures um, and small caps. Yeah, um, Ness, I think it's, it's going to be limited to what you see here uh, for, the, um, for the equities. We have Apple, we have Amazon, IBM, Goldman Sachs, and, and Bank of America. Okay? For futures, I have uh, a lot of different uh, feeds here uh, to take a look at. Uh, you know, something that interests me I'd like to show you uh, is the um, uh, correlation tracker, right? Uh, because I do have, um, I have oil and I have RBOB, gasoline. Okay, so these, uh, these are, you know, uh, show this correlation tracker and how this works uh, might be really, really nice thing to, uh, to go over. Okay, look at oil on the way up here. Wow, okay, big, big move to the uh, uh, upside here. Uh, and uh, you can see all these limit orders here in the book, and we see a lot of transactions take place okay, as price is coming up into this uh, 49 area here, figure of 49, and we see a little bit of a continuation above it. Uh, but um, 
Uh, we're right back down now to test this swing here uh, and see if the buyers are uh, are still engaged in uh, in uh, crude oil at the moment. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to show the correlation tracker. Okay, and uh, we'll um, this is one of the add-ons here you get with the advanced package. Okay, and we'll enable it. Okay, and let's add one here. Okay, and let's add our Bob. Okay, actually, let me um, turn that into red. Yeah, maybe pink. Maybe that's better. It'll show up a little bit better. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is, um, I mean, these are heavily correlated. We're not looking quite at the uh, crack spread here. I'd have to add heating oil. Uh, but uh, uh, they're, they're very highly correlated. Uh, and um, uh, one usually leads the other, uh, depending on the environment. And uh, let's, we'll take a look here and see if we find any um, uh, any sort of uh, a good uh, price action. Um, at the moment, let's see. I mean, I see them very interested here on the uh, uh, on the bid uh, below this uh, forty nine ninety here. Okay. Okay, what about uh, what about Arbob? Arbob has been moving. Okay. okay, now it's starting to move to the downside. Okay. Interesting. Interesting to watch this. Let's see. Uh, Reget. We can yeah we can look at um, uh, the the bonds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. These correlations is, is great to see. Uh, now we can we can see they're they're correlating pretty nicely. I don't see any really any big divergences here yet in uh, uh, in price. Um, I would say here you do see it maybe in this little area here uh, because uh, we can see that um, uh, here we have a nice cluster of activity uh, and you can see that oil actually um, uh, continued to the upside. Right, and our Bob did not uh, until uh, until later, uh, until this point here. Okay, so uh, and and then you can see that uh, uh, our, our Bob is now breaking down uh, along with oil. Okay, so um, uh, perhaps at, at at some of these levels here, this is where the correlation tracker would have given you something uh, uh, something to go on. Um, we can see that uh, uh, oil continued on up to the upside. And uh, and our Bob uh, had not at, at this point, right? So if uh, if you guys are uh, you know depends on how you trade. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, opportunities here. Uh, at, at at one of these points up here above the figure, we're above the the, the 49 figure. Uh, you can um, uh, short oil up into some of these areas here with this high liquidity, uh, and then buy our Bob, okay, and uh, uh, trade the spread, right? And uh, leg in uh, to each position, uh, and then uh, when you have um, uh, your uh, your profit uh, or your targets uh, in in line here, uh, then uh, look look to take your uh, uh, take that trade off. Okay, our Bob continues to the downside right now. Uh, oil had gone up, so this might be a shorting opportunity here for oil. Okay. And it would have worked out pretty nicely. You would have already gotten five cents. Okay, we're going to retest right back to that area here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. Okay, so our Bob is finding support down here, though. I mean, you can see that. I mean, these correlations, uh, I mean, they do give nice, nice signals, uh, but uh, you got to be on your toes, uh, unless you're, if, unless you're really zoomed out and you're looking at uh, something a little bit bigger. It really depends on uh, on on your on your time frame. Okay, 
All right, so now oil is back up. So is our Bob. Okay, that, but look at look at how our Bob made a lower low here compared to oil. So there's another uh, discrepancy in uh, in the correlation. Okay. Oil is making a high. Oil is de just definitely stronger today than than our Bob. Uh, so maybe uh, maybe you'd be looking for uh, our Bob to catch up now. So maybe you'd want to buy our Bob uh, and uh, and maybe short oil, right? Let's uh, let's see what unfolds here. Anyway. Let's not, I, I don't want to focus too much on the correlation tracker. Um, I want to go through our process of reading the order flow and integrating it into the higher time frames. Uh, this is what we do, uh, and this is what gives us uh, really good insight uh, to these, uh, these price levels here. Okay, so uh, let's continue on here. Uh, we'll integrate this macro view uh, of oil uh, into the microstructure. Okay. And then, uh, and then we're going to look at the order flow in detail. Okay, this is what we we've been doing uh, every day uh, during these webinars, uh, and we'll just continue on here. All right. Okay, so uh, let's let's jump into oil. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't have my uh, other charting platform open at this time. This is uh, this will do the trick for for just the moment here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. So this 49 level is pretty important in oil, as we can see. Okay. And maybe even uh, maybe a little bit higher, 49.08. Uh, significant volume here, and we're looking for uh, to see if uh, uh, we're going to come up into that uh, previous volume uh, area. You can see that it has accepted for a while now below that, okay? But the buyers are are, uh, are engaged here, right? We're making uh, making some higher highs here, uh, and um, uh, this, so this is our level of interest, our, this 49.05, the high of the day, okay? And then uh, other areas of interest are going to be down this 48.61 or so. Uh, let's look at a five-minute chart now. Other than that, this has been a really strong move to the upside, right? So uh, let's take a look again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oil is strong, all right? Okay. So coming up to our 49.05. Now let's uh, let's start to put that um, uh, together, that macro uh, view with our microstructure and our order flow. We're seeing a lot of volume trade at this higher high here. I'm looking for a continuation to the upside. Uh, and um, we can see that uh, not too much selling down in some of these little areas here compared to the, the volume that is trading uh, uh, at the higher highs here, okay? And um, yeah, what else? Um, okay, so what about that um, that limit order book? Okay, where, where are they? Uh, and uh, uh, that's our, our process here by reading the order flow and looking at it very objectively. Okay, Where are the majority of the participants? And uh, how do those participants behave as price approaches them? Uh, and um, uh, then we want to read the tape, Okay, where the transactions are occurring. So let's, let's uh, go through that process here. Okay, We see that there were limit orders here. Here, we're, here we go with our move to the upside. Okay. Okay. We're at uh, highs of the day here uh, for uh, CL. Okay. Looking at this uh, forty-nine ten level, that's where we see the liquidity in the book. Okay. What about on the bid? Where are they? Okay. They're way down, they're way down here. Right. They're down here at forty-eight seventy-eight. Okay. I, I we'll probably see some guys get interested again at because uh, uh, you can see they were here earlier at 48.90, uh, and we see them actually getting aggressive now uh, at 96, okay, jumping in the book. Okay, look at them jump uh, underneath here, 
they have 160 contracts or so. And uh, looking for aggressive, aggressive buying now to charge right up into our 49.10 level. Okay, and there we go. And then right back down to where we broke from. And now let's see if we get more buying in again here, right at that swing. Okay, we still have more more volume trading at higher highs, right? Okay, I'm going to open up also another uh, uh, indicator here that we have, our uh, cumulative volume delta. Okay, okay, we're getting a shift here now in the order flow. Okay, look at the transactions that are occurring here. More volume trading at the lower lows. Okay, we just made a lower low here, and uh, and we see a lot of a lot of red dots down in that area. Okay. So uh, we're getting a shift. So uh, now I'm actually I'm looking for continuation, and uh, I'm looking for uh, targeting maybe some of these areas down here around this uh, 4880 area. All right? Com do, do you guys understand that shift? Do you understand what I'm looking at? Okay. I mean, it, this is it constantly changes. I mean, we're, we might even get another shift right here, and we might be looking for now a move to the upside. Okay, it shifts again and again. I mean, this is this is tricky, right? Uh, look at the look at the volume here uh, that just traded. Buyer, buyers are jumping back in, so we're getting a battle in this area here, right at right below 49. This is a key level. Okay, it was this volume here. And also these little points of exhaustion here uh, that I was reading that I'm looking for that continuation to the downside that shifted here again for me as well. So uh, you know I'm I'm staying out of this. I would not. Uh, 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 this is confusing uh, and it's complex. Uh, we're looking for something a little simpler, right? Uh, this uh, this this cluster of volume here th throws me off. Right. Whereas before, these were it was looking pretty good. Uh, we saw the uh, clusters of volume here at these higher highs, uh, and uh, and looking for that continuation. And then here we get the shift. Okay, red dots, more volume at a lower area. We have points of exhaustion, looking for continuation to the downside. And then here, the buyer stepped in. Okay, and that picture changed yet again. Okay, so this is uh, this is pretty tricky uh, uh, price action to read, uh, and and now now it looks. I mean, if we you could be scalping this going back and forth all day, uh, but it looks now now it looks good for for a move to the upside, right? Because look at this cluster volume above this swing here uh, at 49. Okay, are we starting to accept above 49? Uh, and it uh, it's looking pretty good, right? Now we just need to see a lot of green dots, okay? More volume uh, at a higher level here, okay? And then we'll finally probably hit our 49.10 level, okay? What about the book? Where are they lined up? They're here at uh, 05, uh, and they're here at uh, 840.899. So this is, the, this is the battle here. It's for the figure here at 49. Let's see, uh, any insight from uh, our Bob or how about our cumulative volume delta? Mm, not really, kind of kind of difficult to read here. Not the clearest. 
Okay, I mean, we can see that Arbob did not make higher highs here as oil did, so oil is definitely stronger. Uh, let's see, reading your flow, how would you software sh show up volatility? Um, yeah, volatility is actually um, very uh, easy to read as well uh, in, in bookmap. Uh, you'll, you, you will just see that um, uh, a lot of these orders here, this is pretty, uh, this is pretty thick for, for oil. Uh, you know, to see hundreds of contracts uh, at, uh, at some of these levels is pretty, pretty good. Uh, usually it's in the tens uh, or the high tens uh, or maybe the low hundreds, but uh, these, these areas are, you know, there's a lot of interest here, All right? Uh, with volatility, though, you're going to see this book really thin out. Uh, you, instead of maybe, you'll see it in the low tens or even single digits uh, for oil. Uh, and you'll see very erratic price movement. Okay. And, and um, it's nice, uh, actually, to see that volatility because the book, uh, you, you'll see that um, uh, the uh, liquidity will be up at some of these levels or down at some of these levels here, and there'll be nothing in between. Right, and that's when you get that volatility because it's searching for liquidity and it find is finding them at extremes. Okay, in fact, that's kind of what it looks like in stocks almost all the time. So let's let's zoom out here a little bit in Amazon. And that's what's so great about uh, looking at these equities here uh, is uh, uh, you know here here are these levels of uh, high liquidity uh, in Amazon. These blocks here. Of, of liquidity and um, uh, you know and we don't see um, uh, we see some activity uh, you know on the on the best bid and offer um, that uh, some algo uh, activity here moving price around or shifting price around especially like underneath here uh, but um, uh, the um, you know you'll you'll see that uh, uh, this um, uh, this other area other areas of liquidity here you know become rather insignificant uh, we're looking at the bigger blocks uh, of liquidity and liquidity providers. Okay, here we go. Here we go with oil now. See, notice the sh okay that that shift right that we're looking for right. We're getting it here yet again. Okay, more volume trading to the upside, and uh, and now we're finally testing our forty nine ten level. Okay, so uh, Francisco, all, all of those guys that uh, uh, were looking for that continuation to the downside in this area, they would be trapped here and are probably covering up here. All right, so let's uh, let's draw on our horizontal line here. Okay, uh, some something like this. Okay, that shift happened here. Okay, we noticed it. Okay, we notice the shift. We notice the shift here. We notice the exhaustion, and we notice the shift yet again here. And then, uh, and then we saw this this price structure break these little swings here, and we're looking for green dots, and the, and we see the follow through now. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, pretty pretty quick moving here. Uh, and uh, we're kind of all over the place, but uh, I think you guys are getting the point here, what, what I'm covering uh, with these uh, shifts in uh, uh, the order flow or the transactions. Uh, and uh, in the limit order book, you know, oil, yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're, it's still, you know, this, these um, uh, principles um, still are, are very true uh, in oil. Uh, it's just that... Uh, uh, I have noticed this personally that um, with oil there seems to be a lot more aggressive trading uh, with market buys and sells uh, instead of uh, compared to the S&P where you'll see these areas of liquidity, um, uh, high liquidity, uh, you know, has has more seems to have more of an effect on price. Okay, different markets, uh, different um, uh, ways of trading here. Okay, so uh, uh, keep that in mind and. Um, uh, yeah, look at look at again. I mean, we're all over the place here. Uh, oil had made that higher high, okay, uh, 49.15 area here, and look at now we're starting to get another shift uh, in that liquidity at below this area here. We can even adjust our line now, 
and we can move this up a little bit. Okay, and there we go. There's the follow through. All right, I can't even. It's not even. I'm not even quick enough to uh, uh, adjust that line, and we already see the follow through to the downside. All right, but we noticed it, right? We noticed it right here. Okay, so uh, this is. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty volatile uh, uh, period, back, banging back and forth here in oil. Okay, but it was right here where we had the insight. Okay, before this uh, fifteen cent move to the downside. Okay, and we have more volume trading at a lower low here. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, it, if we follow through with it, we're looking for continuation to the downside. Again, still in oil. All right, based on the transactions we're looking at. Okay, where that volume is trading, I'm looking for that continuation. And there we go. There it is. Okay, this is moving really quickly. Okay, so I was just mentioning it here around 48.84 or so, something like that. Uh, and we did get that follow through. Yeah, it's something's going on. Uh, I'm not sure what the, what the news is, uh, but um, something's going on. Okay, but this is pretty wicked. Uh, we're getting a, a lot of uh, uh, trap traders and a lot of covering, a lot of knocking uh, people out uh, below these swings and above these swings here. Okay. Anyway, uh, here's a phenomena that we see all the time as well, a return back to where we just broke from at our 48.84 uh, level here. Right. Yeah, induction, um, you know, advertising lower prices, uh, you know, in, in the market market theory, market auction theory, uh, you know, however, however you want to uh, uh, describe it, okay. Okay, I mean, it's all over the place, um, but um, uh, let's take a look now. What, what do we see now? I mean, uh, now I'm starting to see, look at them in the limit order book here, okay, pretty aggressive. Uh, wanting to be buyers uh, above the swing, okay, at and above the swing here, and we're seeing a lot of a lot of buying here, a lot of buying interest all of a sudden starting to step in. Okay, look at the green, look at the color of these uh, transactions here, or the uh, uh, the delta of these transactions. We see a bit more buying than we do selling. Okay, and we can verify that. We'll just um, I'll zoom in here and I'll put this uh, activity within my chart range, and we can look at our CVD here our cumulative volume delta, okay? And we can see it pick up uh, in some of these areas here, okay? So we see a, a little bit more uh, uh, aggressive buying uh, in this area right here, all right? Yeah, auction market theory is an, it's, um, uh, an excellent thing to see in bookmap because it truly is an auction. And uh, this is the advantage that um, uh, bookmap can uh, uh, offer you is because here, here's the auction, right? It, it's all in the limit order book. And uh, we, we take that auction and then we record it and historically uh, present it to you on the chart here. Okay, so we know that this is where they were before, and this is where they still are. Uh, this is where they want to buy, right? In the current book, they want to sell up here at 80 and 81, and they want to buy down here at 72, right? That's the condition right now of the current market. The majority of the players are between, you know, the, these areas here. Look at there. There's our shift. Look at our shift in the... Uh, uh, wow, God, we're just banging all over the place here. There was a shift right here. Okay, looks like uh, maybe they're trying to press price into uh, these uh, 157 contracts here, uh, but uh, they 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 jumped right back out, and uh, uh, we're actually now above that little area here. Okay, now we're testing these guys up here at 81. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
looking at uh, auction market theory, like uh, uh, you, you, you can really, I think it, it, it better visualizes it than um, well than anything else I've seen is is being able to uh, show you uh, not only where they are currently but where they were previously and to see if they're still engaged at those areas. Okay, let's see if we get another shift of the book right here uh, in this area or shift in the transactions. Okay, I'm looking for, and why am I saying that? Because uh, I want to see, like, you can see them here on the offer at this 81 area that we recognized just a few minutes ago. Let's see if they, they flipped over to the other side. Okay, they were here on the, uh, on the offer. Now they're on the bid. Okay, this is a flip of the book. Now uh, let's see if we get uh, big green dots here and we'll charge right up into uh, 48.90. And there we go. Okay. Come on, just a few more, uh, few more uh, ticks here. Hit 48.90. Let's see if we get it. But do you guys, can you guys see that? Do you see that flip of the book here? Okay, this is uh, something you're going to see again and again in Bookmap. Uh, it's just how the markets work. Uh, in fact, this is very objective information. Uh, we made a, a video about it. Uh, I can show that video here for you. Or I can uh, at least give you the link for it. So uh, just a minute here. Okay, so look in your chat there in um, GoToWebinar, uh, and uh, this is a flip of the book, uh, and uh, we're witnessing a flip of that right now. Okay, now we're testing that 48.90 level, okay, that we were looking at previously, uh, and uh, looking good here, right? Okay, yeah, I mean, you can see how quickly this is changing. Uh, this is uh, kind, of, kind of insane, but uh, uh, nonetheless, uh, the, uh, the principles are holding true. Okay, so let's cover that. Let's cover that phenomena here, that flip of the book. Uh, watch that video. I think that'll be helpful for you, but um, I can click on the hand tool. We can hover over this area, and then I'm going to zoom in, and uh, we can see the flip here. Okay, here they were on the offer uh, at 81. Okay, we come up into that area. They pull liquidity. Not much trades up here. Uh, and, but uh, look what they actually flipped uh, down below here uh, at 78. But then here, right at the same price level, as soon as we start to trade up above uh, 81, they jump right back in at 81 here. But they're not on the offer. Now they're on the bid. And then we, we're looking for those green dots and that continuation uh, to the upside, right? And we got a $0.09 cent gain out of that, okay? A little bit more, $0.10 cent gain, okay? So you can see how uh, <laughs> today's a little a little quicker than 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 usual, uh, but uh, you can see how uh, uh, this can help you uh, understand what's going on at these price levels. This is not going to show up in a regular chart. You're not going to be able to see that flip. All right. Okay. Any questions on that? Um, you know, we can go over this in detail if you guys if you guys like. All right. Well, what do we see now? I mean, um, still, I mean, we, we've traded above our 81 level, okay, or 80, ah, it's more like maybe 83 here, 83, 84 level. Actually, and that's exactly the level we were looking at previously, to be honest. Uh, let me draw in another line here. Yeah, this is where we saw that drop. We were looking for that continuation to the downside right here, okay? And, uh, and you can see we came right back up to test it again, and then we saw the flip uh, right in here. Uh, and then we see that um, uh, now this is the, uh, uh, we're, are we accepting volume above this area here uh, at uh, 82, 83 area, okay? All right, anyway, uh, some good scalping activity today. Uh, and you can see that uh, 
we've been reading it uh, pretty nicely. Uh, seeing the uh, looking for that continuation, we got it. Looking for that um, uh, continuation here up to 48.90, we got it. Uh, we saw the uh, uh, over here uh, didn't quite get it. Uh, I was looking for that um, continuation to the downside in this area here, based on very objective information we saw. But then we saw the flip, or I'm sorry, we saw the uh, transactions uh, 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 tell us something differently by reading that tape. Okay, at this point here, uh, we were looking then for uh, that continuation to the upside. Okay, and you can see that we got that as well. All right, so. Man, you would have been uh, long, short, long, short, long, short, uh, et cetera. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, the uh, the process is uh, of reading this is uh, is holding very nicely. Okay. All right. Well, let's jump back and take a look at a few equities just for kicks. Uh, I'm still interested in uh, Goldman Sachs. Ah, nothing. It's just been in a big range. What about our, our Bank of America? Okay, let's uh, let's zoom out there because uh, that looked pretty good early on. Uh, we're in this area here. Where it looked really interesting here. Um, so what what occurred here? We we saw the support here and very aggressive uh, underneath here with the. Uh, the uh, limit uh, buy orders. Ah, boy, we only moved a few cents, really. Uh, so um, uh, now, now we can see that uh, they're pretty aggressive here on the offer, right? Yeah, I think we we covered the the right market then, because um, uh, not not seeing too much uh, interesting stuff here in uh, either uh, Bank of America or uh, or Goldman Sachs. Uh, what about Apple? What does Apple look like? Kind of all over the place too. And what about our Amazon that we've been covering here? Okay, interesting stuff in Amazon. Look at the flip, nice flip of the book here. Okay, look at 9.95 here on the offer. Now here on the bid. Volume and price and time accepting up in this level above 95, right? And uh, what about transactions? Do we are we seeing uh, something uh, change in the order flow? And right now, not really. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of big red dots at uh, these lower areas here. Okay. Now that may change, but uh, from what I'm looking at and seeing so far, uh, I would start to anticipate this. Uh, uh, 90, uh, 9650 uh, level here to be tested next. All right, all right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Um, if uh, if you guys want to give Bookmap a try in that 14-day trial period, uh, go to Bookmap.com under the pricing tab here. Uh, you can ask us at um, uh, support at Velox Pro as well, and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, some interesting stuff to see in oil, and um, uh, yeah, have a good day, and we'll uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.